So what's up everybody? I am heading on a trip down to close to the East Coast. Not fully East Coast, but uh, around there. It's gonna be a long day. But you know, you gotta do what you gotta do. I'm heading upstairs to the gates and uh, hopefully we have a good trip. about 5 30 in the morning heading all the way down to Tennessee I uh, got a couple of business things going on up in Tennessee so it'll be my first time there actually uh, yeah it's still dark out there you guys can see but yeah it's gonna be a long trip uh, got some snacks I got my drinks so I should be all set so let's get it rentals uh, looking for my car wonder what car I'm gonna get let's keep looking let's keep looking all right I see my car here steps there we go i ain't tall man i ain't tall all right let's see if i can get up here okay first impressions it is a humongous car a lot of space uh let's uh, get this ignition going let's see what happens Cool, we got some digital things going on. My washer fluid is low. Well, I guess that sucks. And we got, all right, we got some satellite radio. It's all good, the heat, you know. No satellite signal, but hey, it's cause we're in the garage, yo, in the garage. So yep, let's take this for a spin. Look at the beauty. Nature. It's all about that nature, man. Check this out. I'm serious. You don't see this stuff in Southern California. Man, all that trees, the changing of the leaves. Oh, it's sick, man. I'm telling you. I just need my pumpkin spice uh, Starbucks latte. All right, so I'm going to an area now. I'm like haunted house hunting. <laughs> you know what I mean? That's part of my job. Hunted house haunting. Let's go! So, yeah, I'm in uh, Tennessee right now, and pretty cool. It is pretty cold, actually. It's making it cool. Uh, temperature outside is reading about 44 degrees Fahrenheit. So, it's pretty cold. Um, but uh, no snow, which is cool. <laughs> I don't want to snow right now. I did not bring my proper gear and clothing for snow. But yeah, I mean, just look at all this forestry though. For real, this is like cool. All the changing of the leaves, the color, you know, it's, it's dope, it's dope. 
Okay, okay. The Toyota Corolla Hatchy looks pretty nice though. Oh, it's like a boost blue with white wheels. Not too bad. Hey, you got even a tow hook in the back, you know what I mean? Sick. So with this Dodge Ram 1500 Warlock Edition, it differs from the other models because it has the uh, black wheels, has the black racing stripe right in the center <laughs> of the car, the exterior of it. And there's also two options for engine wise. There's a V6 and a V8. All right, so I'm looking for somewhere to eat. I uh, just got off work and stuff, but uh, you know, they don't got Jolly Bee up in here in Tennessee. So I am craving some fried chicken though. So I uh, looked online, I found a place called Gus's Fried Chicken. So I'm gonna go uh, check that out right now. All right, here it is. Gus's Fried Chicken. So I decided to get the three-piece chicken with a side of fried okra. Gotta eat my vegetables somehow. I got the food. Let's take it back to the hotel and try it out. All right, boys and girls, it's time to see what's in this box. All right, you give some uh, hot sauce. This is Texas Pete. All right. Here we go, guys. Here we go. Shoo! Gee -hoo. Damn, son. We got some of that beans. Coleslaw. Three piece chicken. And I think there is a piece of bread at the bottom there. <laughs> no rice, though. No rice. And let's check out the okra. Yo, dude. Yo. That's not cool, man. That's not cool. Let me give him a call. Let me give him a call. Yeah, this uh, Gus fried chicken. Yeah, I was calling because my okra, like there's like no okra because I ate it all in my car. Can I get a refill? All right, guys, uh, I'm a little disappointed. Um, I just found out that I don't have the V8 Hemi engine that pushes 395 horses. I have the V6 that pushes 305 horses. So I mean, 305, that's cool. But I mean, that's the same horsepower on my Civic Type R when I bought it stock. So it's like, I already know that power. You know, I wanted that 395. I mean, in the way though, my Type R is is around 395 as well, tuned and everything. So, but yeah, I kind of wanted the uh, 395 Hemi. You know, I mean, Hemi. You hear so much crazy things with the Hemi engine. You know, Hellcats and all that fun stuff. All right, my phone be dropping and stuff. Um, yeah, it just would have been nice to try out this Hemi engine stuff. Um, you know, driving a hell, like a Hellcat, a Demon. That'd be kind of cool, but uh, it's not bad though. This V6 engine, it does it does have that takeoff. So I mean, that it takes off pretty quick. But I'm just wondering, you know, with 90 more horses, what can it do? Well, someday we'll get a Hemi. So this is the 2022 Dodge Ram 1500 Warlock Edition. It does have the 3.6 liter VVT V6 engine. It has a horsepower of 305 at 6,400 RPM. It is also a rear wheel drive. So, you know, you could uh, bust all those donuts and drifting. And it also is an eight speed automatic at 6,800 pounds. 
Now, an interesting thing about me is I actually owned a Dodge Ram in the, uh, I guess, early 2000s. I think it was a 2000, 2005. And yeah, it has actually was pretty cool. It was a Hemi engine uh, that I had before. Now, what's interesting is this back. It was very, very light. I mean, check this out. Watch, watch. Ooh, look at that. One little finger. Bam! Just like that. So what is a warlock? Basically, it's a person who practices magic or sorcery. Hmm, interesting. So that was the Dodge Ram Warlock Edition. Pretty cool truck. Uh, now, would I buy a truck myself? Probably not. Again, as stated earlier, I did actually own a Dodge Ram in the past. So it was a good truck to load a lot of things because I was doing a lot of moving and so forth. So it worked out, but as now I'm in the uh, street car tuner scene, uh, I'm just stuck on my Type R. But anyways, uh, great truck. So whoever owns a Dodge Ram, much props to you guys because it's a pretty dope truck. Now, if you read the thumbnail, it said trucks and burgers, In-N-Out burgers specifically. Why? Because Tennessee will be having an in and out uh, facility built there, um, I think starting in 2023, 2024. So East Coast people, if you have not had a in and out burger and fries with all that sauce and the secret menu with some chili peppers and all, oh, it's gonna be your time. They're gonna spread out to the East Coast, but right now Tennessee will be the uh, first facility that will be built and you know, Trucks and burgers, I'm calling it out right now. So in 2024, if there's gonna be, instead of cars and donuts, cars and coffee, there's gonna be trucks and burgers. Now this video was more of a part one uh, when I was at in Tennessee, because uh, after that day, I actually went to Tale of the Dragon. If you don't know what Tale of the Dragon is, it's basically a strip of road, like a canyon run, in between Tennessee and North Carolina. So uh, unfortunately I had the Dodge Ram, so uh, driving, you know, with all these curves and all that, it was, uh, yeah, it wasn't fun. But uh, that'll be on the next video. So just check it out if you've never been uh, through the Tale of the Dragon. It's actually a pretty cool Canyon run. It's uh, somewhat up there uh, compared to California Canyon. So uh, check, that's gonna be next week's video. So check that out when it comes out. But I thank you for watching this video. Make sure to like, comment, share, and subscribe. But for now, keep smiling, be safe, and always stay driven. Peace.